we have just got the closest thing in MX bikes to the new Triumph in MX bikes. And this thing absolutely shreds. You guys are going to find out why in today's video. Hi right, everyone, welcome back to MX Bike Show. Today, we are on the brand new 2024 Triumph motocross bike in MX Bikes. To an extent, okay, hear me out, bro. It is a black Honda, but this is the closest thing we have in bikes as of right now, okay? And all, in all honesty, this bike is absolutely sick in real life. I actually think it's going to be awesome. Based off all the stuff I've been hearing about, you know, Brembo brakes, etc., etc., it looks really really sick honestly i'm not gonna lie i would love to try one out but anyways besides that we are on the um the closest thing to a triumph dirt bike in mx bikes bro today and i actually have not rode this bike in a fat min what we almost landed that in a fat minute here we are on one of the sickest compounds right now or, or tracks i should say in mx bikes we are on snake pit here and um i do have a compound i would like to take this bike to Next, which has never been seen on the channel here, and it's actually very, very sick. One of my new upcoming favorite compounds, bro, that I might have to give its own video. But like I said, you guys have never seen it, so we're going to check it out here. So stay tuned if you want to see that. But I have not rode the Factory 250 um, in a long time, so we're going to give her a shot here. I have been, me and the boys as well, have been absolutely loving these factory bikes here. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it here. I don't want to do too many laps on this compound since we have just checked it out recently. And then we'll go to the uh, the sick compound here that I have never showed you guys here, which is sick. On a side note, though, the uh, the new Triumph does seem absolutely sick, bro. I'm not going to lie, dude. Based off the stuff I have in here, the bike does sound like it's going to be sick here. The bike looks sick as well. Looks pretty promising, honestly. Um, it, oh, my God. Damn. That was a gnarly swap, bro. I would love to see it included in the 2024 OEM bike pack. Wouldn't that be sick? Like, because we're going to have the 2024. I'm pretty sure the 2024s are going to be the next OEM bike pack. So it would be sick to have it included in MX Bikes as well. It would be very, very cool to see. Um, oh, God. Let's get back on track. And we are, like I said, on the 250 because as of right now, the Triumph has only announced a, um, a 250. So I'm not sure what is going on for the 450, bro, or anything else. But as of right now, that I'm aware of, there's only a 250 announced um, at the time of recording this, so that's actually kind of crazy. But you know, it is still sick regardless here. So let's spin another lap on the snake pit here, and then we'll go to the next compound, you guys. And this bike absolutely barks, you know, as expected. Here we are on the factory triumph, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but oh my god, I thought we were gonna croak on that. But yeah, bike absolutely shreds here. If you guys want it, of course, we will leave a link down below as well. And, um, yeah, absolutely sick here. Let's see if we can't put down a decent lap here, one more lap, and then, like I said, we will head to the sick, oh my god, I thought we were gonna correct right there, to the sick compound that I really want to show you guys that I highly recommend you guys gotta check out in-game, because it is sick. And the cool thing about the next compound as well, bro, is it's actually from another game. So it's from Track They Are, but it's now on MX Bikes, and it's actually one of the coolest tracks in Track They Are, in my opinion. It's just so wide open. And on bikes as well, it is just so wide open here. I know I said I wanted to do another lap, but I think next crash, we'll go ahead and just head to the um, next track here. But we're not doing that bad. We haven't crashed in a fat minute, bro. Just cruising around on the new 2024 Triumph for the access point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm playing, bro. But absolutely sick, though, still. Uh, but this Factory 250 absolutely barks, dude. I got to ride this thing more often when I do end up playing bikes because... She absolutely rips, bro. Oh, my God. How did we save that? And we are down for the count, which is not an ideal scenario. But we're going to head to the next compound, you guys. And it is absolutely sick. It has three tracks to check out. And it is just sick. If I remember right, it's called Star West. Yes, Star West MX Park. And it has two Supercross tracks as well. This is the compound we're going to be checking out here. All right, you guys. We've arrived at Star West here, bro. And this place is absolutely sick here. We're going to see if we can't bark here a couple laps on each track, bro. Because this place is so sick. Uh, my favorite being the motocross track. Of course, the Supercross tracks actually work very well here. I've never rode this on a 250. Um, bro, oh my god. This thing absolutely barks. I've... Oh my god, I've only rode it on the um, the RM144, actually, Factory 150s, I should say. Uh, but, yeah, oh my god, bro, this bike feels so sick, dude. Let's go inside here. Damn, bro, this thing hooks up. Holy. All right, we'll see a little bit of third person. You guys will switch over this jump here so you guys can see a little bit of the um, bike in some third person. Like I said, 
It's not a full-on Triumph because it is literally just a Honda that is black, bro. But, you know, we're, we're running it. Maybe we'll get one in the future OEM pack. Would be absolutely sick to see here. But let's bark this thing, bro, here. And see if we can't rip it here. We're not doing the best in third person, which, you know, is to be expected here. But let's go back into first person over this jump here. There we go. Nice little smooth transition here. Bark through this inside here. I'm not going to lie. This Factory 250 absolutely shreds, bro. I got to ride this thing more often. Holy cow. I don't remember it ripping this damn hard. But, yeah, we're about to finish our first lap here around the motocross track. Obviously, we weren't ripping that hard. But, you know, a lap is a lap. There we go. Let's go ahead and head to... Oh, my God, bro. We clubbed SpongeBob. Rip health. Let's head to one of the uh, Supercross tracks here. Try the Triumph out on a little bit of Supi here. Um, like, I don't really remember, bro. I think I've done about one lap on the Supercross track. So, yeah, we're going the right way, of course, obviously, bro. There we go. Let's rip around this out to here. I don't really remember the lines here, but we're going to give it a shot here and see if what we can't do. Um, but, yeah, see if we can't bark, bro, through these loops here. Oh, my God, a little sketch here. Ooh, into the outside here, which was a triple in. That's right. It was supposed to be a triple triple, I think, if I remember right. Yep. And then rip through the outside. We'll just hit the single. Obviously, bro, lap's not going to plan, to say the least, but, you know, at least we're still... Not croaking real, but the Triumph is absolutely on rails, bro. Overshooting the triple in. Holy, I hit that slow as hell, too, bro. Should have went for the quad in, huh? Let's get back on track here. Over the double. And then the finish line. Pretty sick soupy cross track as well. And then we got another one over here, which is absolutely sick. This compound is so sick. And the best thing about it is if you want to spin some motos, bro, you can on each track as well. So absolutely sick here. Oh, my God. We're flying to the outside. That's right. Up over the super cross triple. There we go. Into a set of whoops here. Absolutely wide open around this outside. Little bit of front tuck, you know. Wasn't part of the plan, bro. But, you know, we... <laughs> We sometimes have to make do. All right, let's park around this here. We already went over the finish line here. Look at the power on this beast, bro. Absolutely insane. But you guys, I kind of want to go rip some moto here again because it was so sick. All in all, though, actual thoughts about the Triumph IRL is I think it's actually pretty sick. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know down below. Um, it actually seems like a pretty sick bike. Like I said, I'm not going to lie. I'd love to actually try one out IRL. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It would be sick. Also would make for a very cool video on the IRL riding channel, which would be sick. If you guys don't know about the IRL riding channel, go check it out. You know, it is pretty sick over there. And yeah, it is actually pretty cool. Anyways, let's get back to barking here and uh, see if we can't absolutely shred this Triumph here. And let's rip around this outside here. Holy, this bike absolutely flies, dude. We'll get over this like nothing when you rip around that outside all day long. Holy, this bike shreds. Oh my god, dang. And we're alive. Things an absolute beast never loses traction. Holy. Bark into this outside here. Don't you fret. We are on rails. Oh my god, bro. This factory. I don't remember this factory 250 being this ridiculous. Like I said, this is insane. Holy. Oh my god. But yeah, you guys, these two tracks I checked out in today's video or compounds um, are absolutely sick. Snake Pit is so much fun, bro. The track in itself just works so damn good. This track as well, bro, the compound that we're on right now, this motocross track and the supercross tracks are fairly easy as well. This motocross track especially, very, very easy track. Beginner friendly in my opinion. So if you guys want to like really easy new track for a new player in MX Bike or something, say you're just starting out the game, definitely a good track to check out. It is very, very easy, but very, very fun at the same time, you know. You can just still absolutely shred on this place, throw some nice whips over these sick jumps here, and just absolutely let the bike sing. It is so sick. But let's see if we can't absolutely bark here for a second, bro. On the Triumph here, a little sketch over that, but we'll be completely fine, don't you guys worry here. <sighs> Toss a nice one off of that. Oh, we're done for. Yeah, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> Damn it, dude. All right, let's try to absolutely rip, bro. Next crash. Well, <laughs> it's a wrap. So let's just see if we can't absolutely rip. Oh, my God. Damn, we railed into that outside, bro. Keep her wicked. Let's just keep on ripping, dude. Into the inside here. Damn, we're pinned on the freaking Triumph, dude. Throwing up on this bees. That was actually kind of sick. <laughs> okay, really? But you guys, I think that's where we're going to wrap up the video on this new 2024 Triumph, bro. This bike is absolutely sick, you know, and the closest thing we got to it right now is this Honda painted black MX bike. Hey, you guys, like I said, I think we're wrapping it up there. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. This would be very much appreciated. It does help out the channel as well. And like I said earlier, check out the Real Life Riding Channel. You know, drop a like and sub over there. And, uh, yeah, if you guys like to see... Oh, we could have quadded that. Holy hell. <laughs> if you guys like to see any videos with this thing, for sure, let me know down below. 
And yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. Of course, the bike will be down below. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video, boys. Everyone have a great rest of your day as we absolutely rail this outside here.